Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White and I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and everything's in the description. So check that out if you're interested. I do all the lead code problems. I have a ton of them on my channel. So go check those out if you like these explained to you. I'm doing trees right now. So this one's called check completeness of a binary tree. Uh, given a binary tree, determine if it's a complete binary tree. What's a complete binary tree? Well, they give us a definition here. In a complete binary tree, every level except possibly the last is completely filled. So all the levels are completely filled except for the last level. And also, all nodes in the last level are as far left as possible. So in the last, if there was um, a node here instead of this 6, so if this 6 was on the right node, that would be false. That's not complete. They all have to be as left as possible in the last level. Um, so it can have between 1 and 2 to the h nodes, inclusive of the last level h. Um, so yeah, we could see that example right here. The 7 is not as left as possible. The 7 could be the left child of 3, and that would be complete, but it's actually the right child, so it's not. Um, so I looked at the solution for this, and the solution is kind of weird. This guy does like some weird crap um, where he creates he, a modified version of a tree node, and he adds a code to it, and then he has this list of these modified nodes, and he kind of does this thing that we learned in data structures a long time ago. If you learn data structures where the left node is 2 to the n, 2 times, the he at multiplies the code times 2, and then the right is 2 n times 2. I mean, plus 1 for the right child, and then he does like this thing at the end where he checks. I mean, you can look at the solution. It's I'll leave. I'll link it in the description. It's an. It's a solution. I I wrote it. I rewrote it, and it makes sense to me. But uh, I looked at the discussion, and I found way better solutions here. So I'm going to show you the one that I really like the best. And basically, the concept behind it is, when you're checking the completeness here, the first null node that you run into, if you're traversing this tree, if we do a level order traversal, meaning we go here and then we go left, and we have to do the left and then right first. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we go in order, level, level, the very first null node that we ever hit should be the last node that we ever see, right? So if we were to see a null here, and then we see an actual node without a null value after that, that would be false. So what we want to do is we just want to have a Boolean to keep track of whether we've seen a null node. And if we see our, the first null node we see, if we ever see a node after that, that means it's false, otherwise it's true and it works out perfectly and we just do a basic level order traversal and that's pretty much it. So that's why I like that solution a lot better. So we'll have this Boolean called end that's set to false. So this will track whether we've seen a null node and hit the end of the tree. And then we'll have just a queue, uh, which is basically just a linked list. It took me a while to figure that out too. Uh, queue is set to new linked list. Yeah, you just implement a queue. A queue is just an implementation of a linked list. So, and then just like all these other problems for trees, just you know, add your first thing. You can add it in, in a lot of the problems. It's a stack. Sometimes it's a queue. Just add the first node. I started using offer for queues because that just makes sure that it's not a null value. I'm pretty sure. Um, then we just do while. So why not? You know, uh, while queue is not empty, all the other problems do this too. We pop the node off the queue and not pop. It's a queue, so you actually use the pull method on a linked list to get the next the head, the next element up, because you put elements in on the back of a queue and then you add them, you pull them from the front. That's how a line a queue is a line, so that's how a line works. You get in the back of a line, you come out the front. So we pull um, our current node. Current node will get pulled this from the head. Uh, so just queue dot pull dot pull that gets our next node up um, and then all we have to do is do our check if current node is equal to null then we've seen our first null and we could adjust our end variable our end boolean we've now seen the end so if we see a if we see a null value node that means we're done we should never see a node with a value again else so this is in the case we see in our current node is not equal to null, meaning it has a value and it's act a real node. Then if we just do a check in here, if end is set to true, then we're gonna, it's false. It's not a complete tree because we've seen a node with a value and we've already seen a node with a null value. So that means that in this case, we would have, we'd see a node with a value, this would be executing, but we've already seen a node with a null value, so it's false, just like what we want. 
Um, so event is true, we return false in this little loop. Otherwise, we just keep doing our level order traversal on the current node dot left and current node dot right. And you have to make sure that you're adding these to the queue in the correct order because we have to go left then right. If we went right then left, then that wouldn't be checking that the last row is um, all pushed as far to the left as possible because it wouldn't be traversing it correctly and it would mess it up. So, because if we were going down the right first, it would just, it, we'd get the wrong answer. That should be intuitive to you guys, but um, hopefully this made sense. And then we could just return true if we made it through all of that. So, we make it through all that, we do the whole level order traversal and we don't run into this one condition right here, then it's a complete binary tree with all the nodes left as possible in the last level. So hopefully that all makes sense to you. It, I think that's a lot better of a solution than creating a cust, and it's the same runtime in stack space. So I think that's just a lot better of a solution um, than this modifying the node class and having a code. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite solution? I found this solution in the discussion, this level order traversal, this guy. So I'll link his thing uh, here. We'll give him an upvote here. Um, shout out to Motorix. Thank you for that solution. And let me know what you guys think. I'll link that. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.